this question we are given here white crowned sparrow flying horizontally so we can write here a sparrow we are given here a sparrow flying horizontally so we can write the sparrow flying horizontally with speed we are given here speed v x which is equal to speed is 1.50 meter per second and its wings begins to drop in a free fall we want to find how far does the sparrow fall after traveling the horizontal distance so we are given here horizontal distance so we can write horizontal distance so horizontal distance h which is equal to 0 0.600 meter we want to find vertical fall height of the bird so we want to find vertical fall height vertical fall height of bird of bird so that we want to find value of y we want to find so that first we will find the value of time so we can write value of time so time which is equal to we can write h divided by vx now we just substitute value into this formula so we can write 0 0.600 divided by value of vx is 1.50 now we just sim further simplify this equation and we can write here t which is equal to answer here is here is 0.4 seconds 0.4 seconds this is the value of time now we want to find vertical fall of the height of the word here vertical fall of the height of the word y we denoted by y so we can write y which is equal to y naught plus v naught y multiplied by t plus we can write 1 divided by 2 g e square now we just substitute value into this formula so we can write here y which is equal to 0 right 0 plus we can write we know the initial velocity is 0 here v naught here is here v naught y which is equal to our initial velocity so initial velocity or we can say initial speed is 0 here so we can write 0 times t plus we can write 1 divided by 2 value of g so value of g is 9.8 why 9.8 because the bar's wings are going to be free fall and time we are given here is 0 0.4 square now we further simplify this equation and we can write here answer here is, is minus 0 0.784 meter so this is the value of y now well, our second sub part of this equation this is our first sub part of this equation a now let's solve our second sub part of this equation b so in the b we want to find if initial speed of the board is increased so here initial speed we are given here initial speed of the board is increased does distance of all is increase decrease or stay same we want to find distance of fall here we want to find distance of fall is increase decrease or stay as same so we want to find this here we know that it's a projectile motion so horizontal velocity is remain constant so we know that horizontal velocity and write horizontal velocity vh is remain constant so that horizontal velocity remains same the world will world will fall on a ground in a shorter time interval so that speed is increased because of the bird fall in a shorter time interval so here in this initial velocity is increased so sparrow will fall shorter distance in a shorter time interval so that this here distance the distance is decreasing when sparrow is increasing speed here initial velocity is zero so at the distance of fall is decreasing distance of fall is decreasing so we can write distance of fall is decreased so this is the final answer of this question.